Good morning, Dr. Eric Klajinski here, FanWid Back Relief Center. Today is Thursday, last day of the week to get in. We are here between 9 and 12 and 3 to 6. You can walk in anytime between 9 and 11.30 and 3 to 5.30. If you are running late, just give us a call. No problem waiting around for you. Uh, but today is our busiest day of the week, so um, last day of the week to get in. Uh, for all your neck, back pain, um, any other joint uh, needs. Today I want to talk about um, this week we've had two or three people come in that were involved in auto accidents. Um, they weren't recent accidents, they were accidents for you know, months or even a year uh, prior to coming into the office. But what happens is a lot of times uh, what I see is when people are in auto accidents, even if they're just real minor, uh, they, they kind of disregard them. Um, they might have some neck pain the next day, neck stiffness or even headaches or back pain, shoulder pain. Uh, and what they do is they'll pop a couple pill Advils, um, do some ice, possibly rest, uh, and then it feels better in a few days. But what they don't know is a lot of times when you're in an auto accident, the most common injury we see is whiplash. And whiplash uh, can present with symptoms or can present with no symptoms. And what happens with whiplash is, uh, whether you're hit from the front, uh, if you're front in collision or rear in collision, there's a jerking motion of the neck and shoulders, which causes damage to a lot of the soft tissues of the, of the spine. Now, again, sometimes this manifests as pain or just even soreness that can go away, but what it can cause is permanent damage where, um, if not corrected, um, some of those tissues can be damaged, they can be deformed. In other words, it can, can actually change the position of the, uh, the, spines, cause, the spine. Because remember, the ligaments which hold the muscle to the bone um, can get damaged and cause what we call deformation of those ligaments uh, where there's uh, a change in the actual position of the bones. Okay, so uh, in our neck, we're, our, net, our, our spine is supposed to be curved like a backwards shaped C. But what happens is a lot of times with whiplash is though that curve is lost. It can be lost or it can even be reversed, which is even worse, which we call a kyphosis, a reversal of the curve. Uh, and that can cause a lot of, that can manifest as a lot of different health problems uh, later in life, arthritis being uh, predominantly the one over time progressively gets worse. Uh, so the point of what I'm trying to make here is that um, if you're in a car accident, no matter how small it is, where it's just a fender bender, you don't typically realize because it happens so fast um, that how much your body actually moves and how much damage can occur, not only to the soft tissues, but the joints and even the discs. Um, where it can irritate nerves and cause uh, early onset arthritis and degeneration um, over the course of over time. So bottom line is if you're in an accident, get checked by your medical doctor, by your chiropractor, by your physical therapist, whoever you see on a routine basis or somebody you have a relationship with. Um, and a lot of times, um, I would say all the time, uh, I would recommend x-rays to make sure that none of those injuries ha have occurred, whether you have symptoms or you don't have symptoms. Um, don't wait because what I see in my office is patients wait and then they come in and then a lot of the damage has progressively gotten worse over time because they never addressed it in the first place. Uh, a lot of times when it is addressed initially, it doesn't take a long time to fix, uh, a few weeks possibly, maybe in more severe cases a few months, but uh, on average we're able to make some good change just in a few short weeks, get them out of pain, give them some of the right stretches and exercises to help to rehabilitate. Uh, that's all we got for today. Um, hopefully everyone has a great day. I'm loving this fall weather. Uh, and uh, have an awesome day, and we will talk to you next time. If you, again, if you have any questions about this video or anything else, feel free to reach out to us, uh, and we will uh, get back to you and, and do our best to, to help serve you. Okay, Have a great day.